Hello darlings, it's Showbiz and welcome to my new online show, The Showbiz Show, where each week we feature celebrity gossip. And show this is kind of people where every week we travel around the country to find the weird, the wacky and the talented. Exclusive celebrity interviews. Make sure you tune in. Cheers! So the summer's all about reality shows and the reality show that really is hitting the nation is MTV's X on the Beach. And I'm absolutely delighted to welcome it's been said, the hunk in trunks. Yes, the one and only star of MTV's X on the Beach, Brad Hayward. Welcome to the show, Mr. Brad, thank you very much for coming down. No problem. Great, right. and it's so lovely to see you here in, in person. So come on, tell us about you. You're from Birmingham. Yep, Whereabouts? Right. Uh, Sheldon, right by the airport. Right by the airport. Yeah, and uh, a boxer. Yeah, I've done, done done a bit. I'm just about to take it a next step. I want to take it a bit more serious. So, well, so it's always, always like amateur or semi professional. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then I wanna I wanna give it six months now and actually have a proper go at it and maybe turn pro, you know, and have Absolutely. a look see how far we can go. Good, good. So, X on the Beach, of course, the new show on MTV. What are we going to expect from Brad Hayward in the new show? Well, I like, you know, I like to go out, I like to have a drink, and I like to get involved with birds. So, you know, I want to go on there to have a good time interact with people, meet some good people and have sex, basically, all in all. Well, you know what? What a wonderful way to live. <laughs> I mean, we could all say that. Well, so come it. on then, so spill the beans. So you go on X on the Beach. Did you find love on X on the Beach? I wouldn't say I went as far as love. I found someone who I, you know, I connected with in there and someone who I got on with. Don't get me wrong, I get on with everyone off there apart from one person, but I'm sure it'll all be revealed and there'll be fucking fireworks when he does, so. Brilliant, yeah. I just went in there with an open mindset, you know, not taking it too serious as such, and just wanted to go and enjoy myself, and I think I come across quite well. Okay, so let's um, talk about um, one of the girls that is in the show, Nicole Dutton. Um, tell us about that relationship. Ex. Okay, so do we need we need to get this very straight? So Nick, Nicole Dutton is your ex girlfriend. She's my ex girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. How long were you together? We were together four years on and off and it was a topsy-turvy relationship. When it was good, it was good, but when it was bad, it was, I'd, I've never seen a relationship like it. It was f***ing horrendous. Really? Fiery? Volatile? Um, like I say, when it was good, we had great times together, do you know what I mean? And I think that's what some people saw, but when it was bad, everyone in Birmingham knows about us and our relationship. Without a doubt, do you know what I mean? So well, come on, give us an idea then. So you're out in Birmingham. One I'm day. out on a night out with the lads, and I look over, I see a bit of commotion. I'm like, what's happening over there? I see someone run in in a tracksuit, trying to come at me, and like thinking I'm out with birds. So she's got in the club in a tracksuit or a pajamas, whatever it is. Classy bird. That's <laughs> and um, yeah, trying to, I don't know, paranoid, thinking I'm with girls or what. Oh my goodness, really? I'd say she was intended to try and, I don't know, drag me out of the club, but it was never going to happen. This is an example. I've come back from Amsterdam off a lad's holiday. I'm going to watch the boxing the next day. I've come from the airport in a taxi to my house. And I've just literally pulled up and I've, I'm looking. Who the, who's that up there? And she jumped on top of my garage thinking that I was in the house. I just landed off a plane. So what I just said to the taxi driver, just turn around and just go up there, <laughs> mate, and left her up there. <laughs> you were with Nicole for four and a half years on and off. Next thing we know that you're appearing in X on the Beach, and so she. Yeah, well, basically, I was approached by MTV to do the show, and I didn't know she had been either. And then the people who were involved, I started to catch wind of this is what the show was gonna be, do you know what I mean? And then we sort of had a chat, but we both weren't sure if it was us two still going in, do you know what I mean? We didn't want to give anything away as such. And then we turn up and all hell breaks loose, so. So did you see her on the show then? Nah. No, no. But well, all will be unveiled. I think you know the viewers are going to see some fireworks with her, aren't they? I reckon you could say that, yeah. There was a little uh, clip last week of her uh, having a little rumble, so. Yeah. True but, colours. Could say that. Is there a future for you and her? Do you think you could ever go nah, back? Nah, I, I wouldn't do it. There's, there's, she knows and I know 
you know, we've been together and we've we've slept together as well after, so but we probably shouldn't have. But um, nah, I think so it's the better to just. Sober, does it? Well, that's it. You know what that stuff can do to you, so. You need that stuff. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> she's just her own, like, she's one in a million. I mean, I, I've never met a girl like her, seriously. And that's how she was. I just don't want to have it all again, do you know what I mean? It's just best we just stay apart and, you know, just don't do with each other. It's just a lot easier. There's been rumours in the press about Chloe Ferry, who is a very good friend of mine on the Showbiz show. So did you and Chloe hit it off? Nah, nothing like that. Chloe, me and Chloe got on like a house on fire and they were just really good mates. And uh, yeah, nah, whatever's been put in the press is, it's bull You got on well, so she's like your sister type of thing. Lads, mate, you know. Just good mates. Nothing more? Nothing more. Would you like Bear to be more? Nah, I mean, Marty's my mate as well, so, you know, I wouldn't do that to somebody. And Chloe's sound, she's, she's crackers, but yeah, nah, she's just a good friend. So I'm dying to find out who the romance is with. Are we going to be able to get a little bit of a hint then? You said earlier that there is some romance in the show that we can look forward to. Um, I think as the show goes on, I'll just say that she was with <laughs> a few people on there and then it gets a bit serious between me and her and that's all I'll give away, so take it as you will. And do you feel you feel you connected to that person? At first, when I saw her, there was, nah, I didn't. But then, as it got, a few days went by, I, I was looking at her, I thought, do you know what, she is actually fit. So are you actually looking now for a proper relationship material? Is it just a quick whatever once I, again? I mean, at the minute, I'll be real with myself. It was, I'm, I'm not ready for a girlfriend yet. I'll just keep on running at the minute. I just think you're not after the experience with Nicole Dutty. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> so everything about Chloe, personality, you could put into Nicole. There could be a future with her, no? No, I've, I'll always have, if she ever through a hard time and she, you know, she needs someone there, I'll always speak to her, do you know what I mean? I've still got that feeling for her, but I never, I don't want nothing to, like relationship wise, there's been times where I've fucking hated a gut, do you know what I mean? So I just know it won't work or it doesn't work. So Do you think your relationship with Nicole, I mean, being honest with you, Brad, you know, you're 25 years old. I mean, from what I can pick up from the relationship, it was quite traumatic. Yeah. Has it scarred you? Like, when I'm on the show, I say to people, and I say it in everyday life, to put like, um, my guards up massively with girls now. It takes me so like, say if I start to like someone, I tend to back off. So I it up for myself if you know what I mean and um yeah I mean you, you could say that yeah I mean me and Chloe's me and Chloe how we got on we just have banter every single day with each other and that's the first thing that I look for in a girl do you She's know what I mean lady, isn't she? yeah well that's it exactly that's why we got on you don't want to be with a girl that's like a lad do you no well I didn't, I didn't fancy her when I went in there but I mean we just got on and we just had the crack and she, she's wicked like so but she has got a temper on her there's a few rumours about you and Chanel McCleary, the, the girl that's in uh, Big Brother presently. Yeah, we had a, uh, we had a few meetups and stuff over Christmas and New Year. Yeah. Tell us more. Is that is was it just was it was it just a, a quick bam thank you ma'am? Yeah. Well, originally I guess that was what it would have been, but you know she slid in my DMs on Instagram. And, uh, she what? Slid into my DMs on oh, Instagram. I can't keep up to date with these shows. <laughs> I get what you're saying, though. You, it sounds quite interesting, though, yeah, Brad, the way then, you say um, it. And then she just liked all my stuff on there, so I was just like, I, I, she, she had loads of followers. She looked very attractive. Even though you know that she was an ex on the beach herself, and she's also been in Take Me Out. She's done the reality circuit. Well, which I, is her I didn't know this when I when I had. Um, you didn't know that she'd done all these reality shows? Nah, I knew she'd done X on the beach and then I seen all the followers and I was like, hang on a minute. I thought it was a wind up at first. I thought it was one of the lads at football f***ing about. And then um, she brought me and whatever. We got speaking and yeah, we ended, I ended up going up to Manchester a few times. She come down here and that was the last time I seen her. Oh, so they could be out the house, back into Brad's arms. I don't know about that. So what's next for Brad? I mean, you're sitting here, a good looking boy, you're young, energetic. What more can, is going to happen? Love Island, we must talk about Love Island. It's been a major, major hit this summer, hasn't yeah, it? Major. Definitely. I could see you on Love Island. You can't do it after X, so. Oh, really? Yeah, you can yeah. Do it before yeah. And, right, okay. But, you know, I, I love doing doing it. I love, you know, and I've, I've said I want to do telly again. The world of show doubt. business, and where do you see yourself after you've done your debut in X on the Beach? You've got well, a good manager. Yeah, you know. I, I just want to see what's out there, you know. I'm, I'm game for anything, mate. And, um, I just want to, 
like I say, see what's out there. I'd be up for you know a lot of things. So yeah, that's very good. So see? yeah. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best on the showbiz show. I'm sure the future is going to be very, very good for you, Brad. And we wish you luck with X on the Beach. We will all be watching on Tuesday MTV at 10 o'clock. Don't miss it. Brad Hayward, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mean to be rude, but who are you? <laughs> Haven't you seen him on the television? Showbiz.